What's up everyone? This is Deagle Beagle and today we're going to go over how to use Excadrill and I know Jamie Boyd covered this and we actually had the same exact set at first like Terra Ground, Clear Amulet because we want to hit Incineroar and Iron Hands and other Pokemon as hard as possible because High Fortress Power is going to be the most common move with it, even though I use Iron Head and Sword Stance and Protect a lot, but I mean, if offensively, you're going to use higher horsepower the most, and that's mostly because as 95 power, um, and Iron Head has only 80, but also it tends to have better coverage offensively. Ground's always been great offensively, and ground defensively is not too bad either, especially since Steel is weak to a decent amount of things. Yes, it does resist a, a decent amount of things, but it's also weak to some things. Uh, ground still, is, I mean, it's still going to be weak to, like, water and stuff, but sometimes with the extra power, you can, like, knock out whatever's going to hit you hard with a super effective move and knock them out before they take you out, especially with its speed from Sand Rush. Now, I'm not saying you should always max HP and attack you probably should max attack but uh, you you could take some HP out and give it more speed to outspeed scarfers I just don't want to show what I would use but I would probably outspeed a scarf or common scarf Pokemon because this already outspeeds like flutter main unless or bundle unless they're like uh, booster speed energy so Really, if you need more speed than this, it's for the speed before Sand Rush, or it's to outspeed like Scarfers, or yeah, booster energy, speed increase, same type of thing. So, I'll leave that up to you to decide, but just know that you probably should use more speed. In fact, I guess the default set I could make could, could, could just be that, honestly, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, but also i was realizing there was a lot of rillaboom or grass types and where's my tear maker like rillaboom was the most common thing that would resist high horsepower and limit um the ability to just spam high horsepower and take things out now there is tornadus but that's not really a threat to Excadrill because it just has bleak wind storm typically and Excadrill resists and walls that pretty well so let's look at this list yeah that's why I ended up coming up with like Terra Dragon because I realized on this other set I guess I'll go back to X Scissor in a second but Terra Dragon I was thinking of the best defensive Terras, and um, Urshifu was getting annoying. It was mostly Urshifu that I wanted Terra Dragon for, but it's good versus other things too, like hands. It still only takes neutral from like a drain punch. So I just figured Terra Dragon would be really good. You could use water or something, but with water, I'm afraid that I don't. I don't generally recommend Terra Water anymore. Or any Terra that's weak to um, to Grassy Glide because Grassy Glide is annoying and common. So, so I ended up going with Terra Dragon, and that helps counter priority moves like uh, Grassy Glide, and then still it it resists uh, Thunderclap after neutral to Sucker Punch, and. It's been doing really well actually with Terra Dragon. I am use I'm probably gonna keep using Terra Dragon. I mean ground's great too, but I just really liked having a defensive Terra while while I set up Sword Stance. Like they would have let's just say Scald Suicune or whatever. Then you could set up a sword stance on that. Or they have an um a Rillaboom with Wood Hammer or High Horsepower you can wall that a lot easier and you may be thinking but 
dragon is super affected by a lot of things like there's a lot of dragon types and fairy types recently and ki yeah kind of but but Excadrill counters flutter main and other fairy types with iron head and it super affects um it super affects like raging bull which has a dragon move it's a, one of the most common dragon type move users probably the most common so excadrill like offensively um it really takes out the pokemon that super affect dragon types so that's why i think dragon's probably the best defensive terror with it and might be the best terror with it overall and let's go back to x scissor so rillaboom rillaboom might be the only one that only poke well one of the most one of the only common pokemon where x scissor is worth it but since it's still pretty common and oh yeah also the ogre ponds too yeah all the ogre ponds almost uh let me think no just the water ogre and rig and the original ogre is is super affected by x scissor and not weak to high horsepower or iron head so yeah a pure grass type would would make x scissor useful so so um wait i meant to move where is the regular ogre pond yeah so, oh shoot i meant to move this up to maybe a tier i don't know i would have to test it out but it seems to be a tier like just from its ability in, and intimidate becoming more common now even with all the intimidate counters so incineroar won't by the way be the most common pokemon because so many people are trying to counter it and it won't be the best pokemon either best pokemon will be something that's high tier that not a lot of people counter uh but going back to um Excadrill, uh so we shouldn't just look at the grass pokemon um and actually bug super effects more than just grass bug super effects but but grass is the main thing because it resists high horsepower is the point okay like psychic types and dark types let's look at those uh dark Urshif urshifu and incineroar would take neutral from x scissors so not those uh, more dark types Grimmsnarl takes neutral see a lot of the dark types have a second type that makes it take neutral just like X um, sorry King Am King Ambit uh, Ting Lu would uh, it would super affect that but that Pokemon is not used very much and then let's go to the the psychic the psychic uh, gosh what am I doing the psychic types Indeedee, Ferrig, Giraffe. Some psychic types like Hatterene, it doesn't super affect. But High Horsepower does about the same. Almost, it could do more actually with Terra Ground if you use Terra Ground. So, so it's not really the psychic types or the dark types that you got to worry about. It's more just the grass types and, and priority moves in Terra Grass. Like, X Scissor would give it good coverage versus Terra Grass Heat Ran, Terra Grass or Terra something that it super affects. Uh, mostly just Terra Grass. Terra Grass is very common. So you could use um, this and it would, if they have, say they have a Rillaboom out, you would do more damage for either just one turn of damage or two turns if they have Rillaboom because you would be able to hit uh, Rillaboom twice or or let's say you hit uh, that slot where they switch in Rillaboom with Iron Head well if you don't if you don't have um, X Scissor you might not be able to finish it off but Iron Head does about half to Rillaboom maybe a little less than half after it heals with Grassy Terrain in my experience so a little bit extra power could be really useful especially since a lot of grass types um, are just terra grass to boost up the grass power as much as possible so 
chances are you wouldn't even have to predict um, half of the, I mean, a lot of the time and just X scissor it and it would be a safe play no matter what they do a lot of times. So between these three sets, I would use it. I mean, you could use like maybe Focus Sash, but like Clear Amulet just seems to be the best because you stop Intimidate and Icy Wind, Parting Shot, and do that all game long. And other Pokemon like Blaziken do better with Wide Herb because that's close combat, but this Pokemon doesn't lower its defenses, so you won't have that problem. Thanks for watching.